Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create additional user accounts that can access your Sage 50 file. You can also restrict the areas and procedures that these additional users can perform within the company file in order to secure the data within the company file. Note that before you can create multiple user accounts, however, you must first create an administrator account that has access to all of the features within the company file. This user account can then create the other user accounts, which can have restricted access to the company file if needed. To create users and set up security for your Sage 50 company file, select Maintain from the menu bar, roll down to Users, and then choose the Set Up Security command. In the User Security window that then appears, you must first create the administrator user. To do this, click the User List tab if needed. Then click the New User button that appears at the right side of the window. In the Create Administrator dialog box that appears, enter the desired name for the administrator user account into the Username field. Then enter a password for the account into the Password field. Note that you should record this password and save it in a secure place. You will need this password in order to access your company data. When you are ready to create the administrator account, click the Save button within the Create Administrator dialog box. Once you've created the administrator user, you are logged in as that user and can then create other user accounts. To do this, click the New User button again. In the User Rights window that appears, you can then enter the username and password for the new user, as well as select an option button that describes the level of access to the company file that this user should be granted. Now for all levels of access other than selected access, you simply need to click the Save button at the bottom of the dialog box in order to save the user account. If you choose the Selected Access Option button, then click the Next button at the bottom of the dialog box to open the Selected Access dialog box. Here you set user security for the different areas of the company file which are shown in a listing at the left side of the dialog box. Simply click on an area of the company file within the listing at the left side to see the various security options for that selected area appear in a listing of drop-down menus at the right side of the dialog box. Use the drop-down menus to select the desired level of user access to each feature or area shown. Now once you've finished setting user access for the various categories, then click the Save button at the bottom of the dialog box to create the selected user account. Within the User Security window, you can also select a user from the listing shown, and then click any of the buttons that appear at the right side of the window to modify user access, copy the user account, delete the selected user, or modify their password. Now when you've finished creating user accounts, click the close button at the bottom of the window to close the user security window. Now in the future, when you or any other user open the selected company file, you'll be prompted to enter your username and password into the login window that appears. 
to log into the company file, simply enter your user information into the fields that are shown, and then click the OK button to open and log into the company file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.